Hello children. Today I am very excited to share with you something very interesting. Do you know children? I love to travel. Yes, I know. You too love to travel to various places. But be it near or far of places, we always need a mode of transport to reach our destination. Now, it depends on us how we want to travel or which is the most convenient way to get to the places. Is it by air, by land or by water? Come, let's watch out. In ancient times, bullock carts, tanga, camel carts or boats were the only means of transportation. Those were slow moving vehicles. Do you know children? Camels are known as the ship of the desert. Nowadays, different modes of transport have been developed. The different types of transportation can be divided into three main categories. Land transportation, air transportation and water transportation. Let us first learn about land transportation. It is the mode of transportation for goods and passengers on road. Different types of vehicles are used to cover different distances. Bicycles, rickshaw, bikes and scooters are generally used for short distances. Oh look, what is this? This is a school bus. It takes you to school every day. Buses, trucks and cars can take you to longer distances. While cars, bus and taxis carry passengers, trucks carry loads of goods from one place to another. Trains help in covering long distances from one state to another. Trains which carry people are called passenger trains, whereas trains that carry goods are called goods train. Let us now see what is air transportation. It is the transportation of goods or passengers by air, aeroplane, helicopter, hot air balloon, glider are some of the means of air transportation. Today, all the countries of the earth are connected by air transportation. We can go from one country to another by aeroplane in very little time. Wow! Look at this! This is a hot air balloon. Riding in it is so much of fun. This is a spacecraft. Astronauts use spacecrafts to explore the space. Water transport. It is the transportation of goods or passengers on water. It is also the oldest mode of transport. Boat, ferry, yacht, submarine and ship are some of the examples of water transport. While boats are used for short distances, ships are used to cover larger distances. Cargo ships are used for transportation of goods. Submarines are watercrafts that operate underneath the water. So today you have learned about three different modes of transportation. From now onwards, Whenever you travel to any place, always keep a note of which mode of transportation you are availing. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.